Brian, I understand that it's hard to expect a recession when you're getting 500,000 jobs <laughs> created, which is what we saw in the last month. But how do you explain this new research that shows one in five Americans are turning to dollar stores to buy their groceries? Former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers now is saying that a soft landing is more possible than it was a few months ago. But people are stretched. Uh, you know, we're expecting further rate hikes, another uh, 25 basis point hike at the March Fed meeting. Jay Powell is going to speak in Washington tomorrow or, uh, or Wednesday, rather. So we'll actually get more uh, content in terms of uh, what he says about the rate hike schedule. Your thoughts on its impact? Yeah, well, I think first off, it's about realities and expectation. And I think expectations have just been so low here. Um, People, I mean, I, want to, I won't discount the fact that people are stretched. I think that's true because inflation's been so high. And food inflation is one of the components that actually went up. Even though overall inflation's coming down, that went up in that number last month. So you can see where people are going to look where, anywhere they can go to, to save on that grocery bill. And, you know, kudos to the dollar store for being, uh, you know, this is cap capitalism, right? They're filling a need. They're figuring out ways to fill that need, uh, which is one of the great things about our country. But I think bottom line is here, look, I mean, I feel like I've been Pollyannish. Uh, Maria, on your show for the last year, I've been very skeptical of the fact that we're going to recession. Now you're hearing economists say that, wait a second, maybe we're not going to go into that recession. Maybe it is a soft landing. And I think it does come down to that labor market. I mean, I get it. Maybe that number is a little high. Uh, Mike's right. Those numbers can come in wonky and get revised a lot. But if they come down somewhat, I mean, it was so hot. And I think it just speaks to the fact that one thing I've been saying over and over again is we have a bona fide labor shortage in this country. You had two to three million baby boomers retired during the pandemic. You're going to have 2 million baby boomers retire every single year. Um, and we know birth rates are very slow in the U.S. This is a long-term problem that's not going to go mm. away. And that's going to keep wages high. And meanwhile, when you start looking at expectations, they've been so low. And even though earnings aren't great, they're better than what's been anticipated here. And I think, you know, yeah. when you hear a lot of these strategists out there who've been calling for the market to fall off a cliff, the economy to fall off a cliff, I think they've been sitting in their ivy tower too long. You know, I've worked with a lot of business owners across the country. And all they've been telling me is they can't find workers. If they have them, they're going to hold on to them. So I think that bodes well for the American consumer. Um, and I think with inflation coming down, and even though that food inflation is taking a little bit longer, it's more stubborn, this soft landing is here. And that's what the market's been telling you. Um, and it kind of does justify my view here for the last 12 months or so.